Hello, hello, viewers of Poker Life India. Today we have an interesting topic in for you. We are going to talk about the future of poker in India. So what we're going to do is look at what's happening right now in the environment around us, legally about the ongoing cases, social stigma behind poker, and you know talk about the silver lining as well uh, for the industry. So let's get into it. The legality. Poker comes under the Public Gambling Act of 1867 and Price Competitions Act of 1955. The way it works is the state governments have been authorized to make laws on betting and gambling, etc. If the state does not have any pertinent laws about it, one refers to the PGA or the Public Gambling Act. Speaking about the current legal status of poker in the country, Assam, Orissa, Nagaland, Sikkim, and Telangana are the states where playing online poker is banned. In addition to Gujarat. Let's quickly delve into the PGA or the Public Gambling Act. Section 12 exempts games of skills from the penal provisions against gambling. It, and I quote, nothing in the foregoing provisions of this act contained shall be applied to any game of mere skill wherever played. The best case scenario for this is Rummy. The Supreme Court held that the 13 card game of Rummy was not a game entirely based on chance and therefore it was legalized. Telangana added a new ordinance that even if a game had a slight element of chance it could not be termed as a skill game which was very much against the verdict of the supreme court but that is life and now rummy is not allowed in telangana however there are many bipolar cases in both situations one of the notable figures in support of legalization of poker in india is mr k n suresh the secretary of indian poker association or ipa who has been leading the crusade for conducting poker games in Bangalore now he had even obtained an noc from the deputy commissioner of police in 2012 only to be harassed again in 2013 there was a landmark historic verdict where the bangalore high court says poker is a game of skill the decision which opened floodgates for gaming industry this was supposed to be a great news for the poker community but the joy was short lived In October 2018, the new ACP of police cracked down on around 500 card rooms in Bangalore. Speaking on technicalities, the police claim that the crackdown is mainly against card rooms which do not offer any other facilities to their members except gaming. So, it would be fair to say that these gaming rooms were shut down because they didn't have a TD table? Absurd as it is, that is the cold truth and the Bangalore poker rooms haven't opened since. Apart from this there are three appeals related to poker that are ongoing in the Gujarat High Court as well. Going forward it is important that poker is clearly defined as a game of skill and not just chance. So to summarize the legal point what can we do? Well I guess it's very important that we follow the same pursuit as that of Rummy. The way Rummy was recognized by the Supreme Court of India as a game of skill the same trajectory needs to be followed for poker and stakeholders of the industry need to come together to make this happen so poker lovers what what can you do to propagate this beautiful game to your immediate environment well for one all of you listening to this can increase awareness take poker to someone you know pass it on pay it forward it could be your mom your dad um not just teach them the game tell them about the possibilities and the variations and the statistics behind the game would inculcate a better environment for the game that and also then wait for an indian to ship the wsop main event and be felicitated by the president again and this time hopefully poker could gain some credibility by the end of the day as a game of skill Let me know what you guys thought of this episode. More from Poker Life India in times to come. Peace. In the Middle East. <laughs>